It is a danger to say that we can attack you wherever you are in the world without giving any proof and without any mandate via the UN or any other official body. It's a dangerous Pandora's box to open. Absolutely. It violates the sovereignty of any country where Israel uses force against suspected terrorists. It's not a new phenomenon. I mean, of course, Israel has been assassinating its perceived enemies for many, many decades. I mean, if you go back uh, to the Munich Olympics attack in 1972, uh, in sub successive years, Israel hunted down and murdered uh, those responsible, it thought, for those attacks in the process, of course, killing some innocent people. Uh, current uh, Israeli leaders, including the Prime Minister and the Defence Minister, have threatened that they will hunt down and murder Hamas operatives wherever they are uh, across the world. Uh, this is incredibly dangerous. It's a breach of international law. It's a breach of human rights. It's a violation of the, the rights of other countries. Uh, and it doesn't solve uh, the security threat to Israel. By not respecting international law, uh, as you say, and not being pushed to do so by the US, who could ask Israel to stop all of this, both the US and Israel may well sort of rue the day when they start lecturing other nations to, to mind their own business as such. And, and uh, is, there, is there a real concern here uh, that countries such as Russia uh, and China, Myanmar, North Korea can quite easily turn around to the United States and say, we'll do what we want and we'll go after who we want. It's none of your business. Well, sadly, some other countries have been engaging in precisely this practice. Uh, I mean, the US was, of course, involved in the war on terror uh, in many violations of international law. Russia has been murdering dissidents in countries like the United Kingdom. Uh, Saudi Arabia, of course, uh, murdered uh, infamously uh, a journalist uh, in the consulate uh, in Turkey some years ago. So unfortunately, there are some uh, seriously law-breaking countries. And this kind of practice, if it meets with impunity, uh, if powerful states like the United States or, or international organisations like the Security Council do nothing about it, then it encourages these practices to continue.